بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ایم فرام لاہور پاکستان آئی ہیو ٹرینڈ اوور فورٹی تھاؤزینڈ ٹیچرس سو فار ایون مور دین دیٹ آئی ہیو ٹرینڈ دیم آن انگلش لینگویج کمیونیکیشن اسکلس پیراگوجی اسکلس پریزنٹیشن اسکلس اینڈ آل دیٹ اینڈ آئی کنڈکٹ ٹیچر ٹریننگ ان لاہور اینڈ ان ادر سٹیز ایز ویل اینڈ یو نیڈ مائی سروسز اینی ویئر ان دا ورلڈ آئی ایم اویلیبل آئی کین ٹرین یور اسٹاف ان اینی پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ رائٹ ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو سم گائڈ لائنس فار لیکچر ڈیلیوری With the help of these guidelines, you can deliver a lecture very, very effectively. This is a part of a series on lecture delivery skills. And this is the next video on that. Please don't forget to watch the previous videos because they are directly linked with this video. And after this, there are more videos as well. You should watch them as well. Whenever you deliver the lecture, the first thing is the time you enter the class, do the face reading of the students. Look at the students, look at their faces, look at the faces. And when you look at the faces, you got to read the faces. From the faces, you need to gather some, some basic information about the students that who is active, who is feeling lazy, who is cheerful, who is sad, who seems to have the problem, who seems to have the trouble and all that. When you take a look, now for example, in your class, if there are 30 students, Within few seconds, you need to take a look at all the faces and then you need to see if anybody is looking happy or excited, you can talk to that student. Hey, what's up? You're looking so happy today. Believe me, when you talk to the students in this tone, in this way, they are going to be very, very happy. They're going to share your things because sharing is caring and caring is sharing. If you care, then they will share with you and this caring attitude of the teacher actually it helps student it helps the students actually to share whatever they know whatever they have and once they start sharing believe me they will come very closer to you and they will think that you are their favorite teacher and you are the best teacher in the world for them so read the students and try to comment i mean the first minute of your class when you enter first minute only try to comment on the students if anybody is looking upset if anybody is looking unhealthy you can ask you can talk and then you can go ahead so first thing is you need to read the students second you have to be positive about everything you gotta be positive i've got a student and she says whenever a problem comes in my life I don't think about the problem that is what has happened with me I start thinking about the solutions I start thinking about the positive aspects I start thinking about what to do next I start thinking about what next I have to do to overcome this problem so you got to be positive about your students sometimes teachers are very negative about one student or about a group of students in their classroom and they talk about them negatively all the time they are negative about them and they look at them negatively and that becomes the opinion of the teacher and remember Teachers are so strong that in most cases, in junior schools, in junior classes, the opinion of the students, of the teacher, sometimes becomes the reality for that very student. If you are talking to a student saying, you are dull, you are dull, you are not intelligent, you are lazy, you are out of your mind and all that stuff. If the teacher is going to say that continuously, that is the opinion of the teacher. at that very moment at that very class and that can become the reality of the student and if teachers negative opinion becomes the reality for the student that is going to destroy the life of the student so remember one thing that is one small phase don't judge your student at that very small phase in that very condition in just one test and you pass on your lifetime judgment about that student that is very 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 negative so be positive you gotta be positive even if the situation is negative look at the positive look at the positive of a student who is dull look at the positive side highlight that positive side and that positivity is going to enlighten the negativities of the student as well right anyways let's go ahead avoid reading when you deliver your lecture don't deliver the lecture while reading unless there is something you need to quote directly from the book 
it can be a poem uh, or poem or it can be a text you got to read from the book right otherwise avoid reading I mean it's not that directly you're just reading 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 from the book I mean I've seen some teachers they don't have the books they know what is in the book and they deliver a lecture on that right without looking at the book and then they ask the students now you can read it from the book as well because I've explained all the things now when you read from the book you will understand each and everything so avoid direct reading all the time yes you can read if there's a poem if there is if there is a text if there is a saying if there is something you want to quote from the book you can read from the book but even when you're reading from the book you got to look at the students I mean the control one way of reading the book is like this you're reading 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 Reading, reading and reading but one way is you got the book here and as you take a look at the book you look at the students then you take a look at the book and you look at the student or you can ask one of the students to read and you are going to monitor right next use visual aids now if your school is in some remote area where the facilities are not available it's okay no problem but if you teach in a modern school or if you teach in a grammar school and they've got the material available they've got the audio visual aid try to make it the part because you know some learners are visual learners if you show them they learn better so that is why you need to use audio video aid but don't use audio video aid for your own convenience they're okay if I play a 10 minute clip in my class then I don't have to teach so for that period of 10 minutes I'll be relaxed or if I show a movie to my students then two periods will be gone in the movie and I'll be relaxed I don't have to teach them anything don't use audio video aid for your convenience and you need to use it appropriately when you think that you need to show something to the students when you think a small clip can explain a lot to the students so then you need to go for that and you must use audio video aid because that makes your teaching very very attractive and students actually like it now what do I do in my spoken English class most of the time I do this thing I play some clips those clips are I mean a clip is of one minute two minutes sometimes I play audio clips sometimes I play video clips and these clips are directly related to what I teach now for instance if I'm teaching them the present simple tense after teaching present simple tense I play a two minute clip on present simple tense there are certain things they see and then I go ahead and I make them practice so you can use audio video aids and if your school there are certain schools in Asia where there is no electricity especially in India and in Pakistan and other countries like Bangladesh there are some schools which are which are not having the basic facilities so there you can use the low cost material or no cost material if your school is in a village and you're teaching biology it's a good idea to take the students to the fields and there tell them about plants to take them to a farm and then tell the students about uh, animals and their life and all that stuff so a teacher that's what I say a teacher should be resourceful if the teacher is resourceful that teacher will use all the resources available if the teacher is resourceful and the resources are not available the teacher will create the resources resources will be the creation of uh, of the mind of a resourceful teacher okay I repeat again uh, actually the resources are the creation of the mind of a resourceful teacher so you have to be a resourceful teacher if you are a resourceful teacher with the help of anything with the help of a leaf even you can give them audio video aid it's not necessary that every time you should have a multimedia a big screen speakers this and that even if you don't have that if you are resourceful you can teach the students with the material that is what we call low cost material and no cost material maintain eye contact with the students while you are delivering the lecture and your eye contact should go on in certain ways now sometimes with your eye contact you are controlling the students sometimes with your eye contact you are delivering the students sometimes with the eye contact you are developing a channel through which you are communicating ideas into the minds of the student just imagine eyes are your eyes and students eyes if you look into the eyes of the students the eyes are developing a path 
it is going to be a pathway through on through that pathway or on that pathway the information travels knowledge travels from one mind to another mind now look at me look into my eyes i'm looking into your eyes and you are looking into my eyes and through this we are developing a pathway from there from your eyes to my eyes we have developed a pathway we have developed a road and on this road information knowledge will travel from here to there and sometimes from there to here because this road is a double road it's a two-way road uh, on which information and knowledge will go to you and it will come back to me as well what is experience experience is what we learn from the from the students whatever we learn from the students that is actually going to make us an experienced teacher so it is a double road we've got two eyes right just imagine with one eye the information is going and the other eye the information is coming back to you and this is how you go ahead so maintain active eye contact control your class with the eye contact deliver the knowledge pass on the information through your eye contact and look at everybody when you're looking at everybody the students will look at you means you are paying attention students are paying attention when you're paying attention and the students are paying attention believe me there will be no tension involve your students remember the students start feeling bored their energy level goes down their glucose level go their glucose level goes down when they are just sitting idle and they're looking at you and they are attending your session for more than 10 minutes for 10 minutes they can manage it for 10 minutes they can afford it but more than that actually they can't do that so you need to involve your students and that involvement can be up to yes no I know some teachers what do they do they involve the students by asking yes no questions like do you understand this point and the students he has told the students whenever I say the answer should be in yes sir no sir loud and clear loud and clear now for example if I'm sitting idle and uh, right I'm sitting idle I'm attending your lecture and then you say do you understand that the time I say yes sir when I say yes sir my my not my my energy level is going to be high because when I say yes sir I need to move my body in a certain way there will be certain changes inside me right and then I'll be active and alert so you can use this yes no technique one of the things and I know another teacher is my friend what does he do he says one sentence second time he says the same sentence and that is incomplete for example uh, plants are the part of universe plants are universe very good okay so this is how the students are full-time engaged they are fully involved into the lecture by saying yes no by repeating the sentence and all that so when the students are involved into the learning process they are actually learning learning is a process where teacher and students they should be involved equally if you are delivering the lecture and there are 30 students sitting pin drop silence they are just sitting still then they will not be learning properly so you need to activate the minds of the students and remember minds will be activated if you are going to activate the students physically physically when they are moving their bodies when they are actually for example if you say all right let's clap three times when they clap they will feel active say all right students are you fe feeling lazy come on let's do this for one minute when they are going to do this for one minute their hands are gonna be warm and this warmth is going to energize their whole body and then you say now please you got to move your hands on your face and then to move their hands on the face and they will feel active and alert believe me i'm feeling very active you should try that as well so a teacher should have these type of things these are the teaching musts i'll teach you further about that in teaching style video i'm gonna make another video on teaching styles there i'll teach you that so you need to involve the students mentally physically emotionally by all means your students should be involved into your lecture and into the learning procedure use humor to energize the students now you got to use humor to energize the students students can be energized a lot while smiling or even a giggle 
a giggle is okay for few seconds they laugh and then they are serious they smile and once again they are serious so th this is this is gonna be a good idea now what I'm going to do I'm going to tell you a joke and through this joke I'm going to entertain you and you're going to laugh or smile at least right and see how do you feel after the laughter after the laughter and after the smile how do you feel once upon a time there was a teacher and their teacher was jobless the teacher was unable to find any job anywhere so once the teacher read the advertisement in the newspaper and that was the advertisement from the zoo the teacher thought I'm not getting any job for a teacher so it's a good idea to join the zoo at least I'll get the salary so the teacher went to the zoo with the CV for interview and the teacher was surprised when they said uh, well one of our bears is missing it's dead so we want you to wear the clothing of a bear and to act like a bear in the in the cage children will come and you got to act like a bear and this is your job and you got to do it since morning till evening till we close the zoo and we'll give you a handsome salary that teacher thought it's not a bad idea nobody will see me nobody knows who is inside the clothing of the bear so I should do this job the teacher started the job in the cage and the teacher was very happy wearing bears clothing acting like bears and children were very happy and they clapped and all that and the teacher was fine with that very job and and the life was going on very next to that very cage there was another cage of a lion and uh, between two cages there was one door actually that that joined the cage of the bear and the cage of the lion one day accidentally what a coincidence the door the small door to lion's cage actually remained open and the lion came to the cage of this bear now this bear was shivering the teacher inside actually the bear was shivering and thinking that oh my god now I'm gonna die this is my last time it has come I made a big mistake I was good being an unemployed as a teacher and I found this job and now I'm gonna die and that lion came closer and closer and closer and this teacher inside the bears clothing was shivering and sweating suddenly from the lion the voice came don't be afraid I am also a teacher <laughs> okay so this is how you can use your light sense of humor to make the students smile to make the students laugh because laughter is a very good energizer after laughing after smiling you feel different so that's all uh, these were some guidelines for lecture delivery if you like this video please hit on the like button and try to subscribe me as well because I'll make more videos for you on teacher training I have made this teacher training course it's in Urdu if you are from India or if you are from Pakistan you can get this teacher training course it's got uh, more than 10 topics and there are complete lectures on those topics and by attending these lectures you can become a wonderful teacher and you will get a certificate along with that as well that certificate means that you have attended this teacher training workshop if you want to get this course it's in Urdu I'm telling you once again you can order the number is given so you can order on that number and I'm also a teacher training if you want me to train your staff if you want me to train your teachers on English language and on pedagogy skills which are directly related to teaching how to teach how to be effective I can do that as well if you're having any problem where the teachers are not working that efficiently so you can ask me for a workshop and I can do this anywhere in the world you just need to invite me and I'll be there conducting a training workshop for your teachers. Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best. Happy teaching.